Good morning. We're going to touch on our final one another today, and it comes from uh, 1 John 1, 7. But if we walk in the light as he is in the light, we have fellowship with one another. And the blood of Jesus, his son, cleanses us from all sin. This is a verse, of course, at the end here about the gospel. The blood of Jesus, his son, cleanses us from all sin and the purification that comes from the gospel. The first part has this conditional aspect. But if we walk in the light, as he is in the light, something happens to us. And it might surprise you. Uh, the, it would make sense to say something like, but if we walk in the light as he is in the light, uh, we have fellowship with God. But interestingly, he says, if we walk in the light as he is in the light, we have fellowship with one another. See, the gospel opens up for us a kind of unique opportunity to have spirit on spirit, soul on soul, inner life on inner life, connectedness with one another. It's unique to gospel fellowship. It's why, like in a marriage, you can be physically connected to your spouse and emotionally, psychologically, socially, and then there's this other piece spiritually, and it kind of wraps them all up. If you're spiritually connected, it enhances every other aspect of your connection because you were made to connect soul to soul. And when you're both on the same gospel page, it affords that. Now, there's another implication from this, and that is that the best community then is the kind of community where the gospel is sit down in between the relationship, where it's not just that I have affinity or I have connection or we click, but that gospel sits as the centerpiece wherein we now can fellowship, have, have this inner life connectedness where we're making each other better and we're strengthening each other in our inner man, in our inner woman, because of that connectedness, all centered around the gospel, all around the good news that our life has been transformed, our sin has been taken away, our purpose has been recalibrated, that we've been regenerated, renewed, washed, that we're cleansed, we have new life and a new kingdom, and now we rally around that, and there's horizontal implications in our relationship because of the gospel. So the best fellowship you're going to have in a way, the only fellowship you're going to have, you might have social connection, but the only fellowship you're going to have is going to be where the gospel sits at the center and you appreciate that in each other and you move to each other in and through the gospel, the good news. And you see each other sin that way. You see each other as, as, as broken but blessed in the gospel. You see each other as mutually forgiven. You see the, the other uh, and one another as people who have been reconciled to God. You're not holding things against each other because the gospel sits at the center. But if we walk in the light as he is in the light, we have fellowship with one another. So with all these one another's we've talked about, let me encourage you to really think about how you can rehearse the gospel in regard to one another and enhance that connectedness that is fellowshipping with one another. May the Lord bless you today.